masasabi natin talagang ang investment for the future ang Siri. Kaya maaaring magandang part ito ng ating investment portfolio. From their business model, tenant mix, and push for sustainable future, we definitely consider Siri as an investment for the long run. Kamusta pa mga ka-RFF? I hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa aming channel. Para po doon sa mga hindi pa nakakapagsubscribe, I hope you can help us help more people fulfill financial dreams by simply clicking the subscribe button down below and please also tap na din po the notification bell so we can update you of our future video uploads. Malaking bagay po ito para sa ating RFF community para mas marami pa po tayo matulungang tao. Pansin niyo po ba na times are really changing so fast? Madami na po ang nagbago sa panahon natin ngayon. From good lockdown foods, cashless payment options, to virtual events. Indeed, the COVID-19 pandemic forced us to change many of our lifestyle and work setups na never natin naisip dati. And these changes also apply to investments. The landscape of our investing preferences has also evolved. Kung matatandaan po ninyo, a few videos ago, our President and CEO, Mr. Rex Mendoza, shared with us the 2022 Global Trends and Investment Themes. Doon po sa video na yon ay pinakita niya kung anong klaseng investments ang maaaring maging mainstream ngayong taon. At isa sa mga nakikitang trends ngayon ay ang Green Renewable Energy Investments. Ito po yung mga klase ng investment vehicles na nakafocus sa pagproduce ng electricity and energy galing sa mga renewable sources gaya na lamang ng solar, hydroelectric, biomass at iba pa. Tanong, bakit nga ba mahalaga ang mga ito? Simple lang ang sagot, dahil ang mga energy sources na ito ay kinoconsider na sustainable at di nakakasira sa ating kalikasan. One of the biggest global issues that we face right now is global warming. Nakikita naman po natin na in the past few years, sunod-sunod na malalakas na bagyo at baha ang nararanasan natin dahil sa patuloy na paglala ng climate change. So, to avoid this, Governments around the world and even the United Nations are really pushing for greener sources of energy for the future. Ginagawa po nila ito para mabawasan ang greenhouse gas emissions. And this is already evident in the Philippine market. Now, we see that the investing public is really into renewable energy stocks. Another trend that we see, especially with the retail market, is investing in real estate investment trusts or REITs. These REITs offer an easier, more accessible, and more affordable way to earn from large-scale profitable properties without having to pay for their full cost. Kung ikaw ay isang small investor at gusto mo mag-invest sa real estate, ngunit wala pa namang kapital at expertise to manage your own property portfolio, mas madali for you kung makisali at makiride on ka na lang sa mga pinakamalalaking developers and property managers ng bansa. Ang REIT ay parang mutual fund din. Ang pagkakaiba, ang pera ng fund ay ini-invest sa mga real estate properties. If you remember, naglabas na din po kami ng REIT review video kung saan ay pinakita namin na isa talagang maaasahang investment ang REITs, lalo na sa mga investors na gustong makatanggap ng steady stream of yield income and cash flow. At sa mga subscribers namin, mga ka-RFF na palaging nanunood ng aming mga videos, kami po ay lubos na natutuwa at kayo po ay nakisali sa aming mga REIT recommendations. Kaya naman po, we also want to share with you another upcoming REIT in the market. Madami na din pong nag-request na i-review namin ang nasabing REIT na iyon. And yes, you're right. Ang video ko na ito ay nakafocus sa incoming REIT IPO which is Citicorp Energy REIT Inc. or CREIT. 
Ang SIRIT ay isang bagong uri ng REIT kung saan ang main business strategy ay ang pag-i-invest sa mga solar farms and renewable energy production na kaiba sa mga REITs na nasa market na ang portfolio ay kadalasang office spaces, malls, and parks. So ang tanong, maganda bang investment ang SIRIT? Before we start reviewing SIRIT, Nice po namin magpaalala na hindi po ito isang recommendation to buy. Ang layunin ng video nito ay ipakita ang unique points ng Siri bilang isang investment. Mahalaga pa rin po na tayo ay mag-research at i-assess kung pasok po ito sa ating risk appetite and if this will complement our existing investment portfolios. Kaya, simulan na natin. Ang SIRIT ay ang kauna-unahang energy REIT sa Pilipinas. Masasabing investment ito for the future dahil ito ay isang sustainable investment endeavor. Pero maganda nga ba talaga ang mag-invest dito? Pag-usapan na nga natin, why is it good to consider having SIRIT in your investment portfolio? Reason number one, SIRIT strong business model. As discussed earlier, CityCor Energy REIT Inc. or CREIT is the first energy REIT in the Philippines. Ang negosyo ng CREIT ay ang pagpapaunta sa mga tenant na power producers ng energy or electricity. Alam naman po natin na essential industry ang energy production kahit ano pa mang economic landscape yan. Di gaya ng ibang mga REITs in the market where revenue stream is dependent on leases and rents. That is usually composed of offices and commercial retail gaya ng malls. Kitang-kita naman natin ngayong pandemic na talagang naapektuhan ang mga retail and shopping malls kaya apektado din po ang kita ng mga property developers at mall owners. Kaya nga po, unfortunately, meron rin pong read na din bumaba ang presyo dahil nagsialisan ang mga tenant nito na karamihan ay ugo. Pero sa Siri po, tuloy-tuloy lang ang energy production. Masasabing low or no vacancy risk ang mga property na hawak ng Siri. Isa din sa mga magagandang feature ng SIRIT ay ang mga tenants ng kanilang property ay under din ng kanilang corporate umbrella. Ibig sabihin, part ng kanilang organization ang mga umuupa. Unlike sa ibang REITs na ang tenant ay usually third-party renters and lessor, which of course translates to lesser control. Ang sponsor ng SIRIT ay ang CityCorp Renewable Energy Corporation or CREC a subsidiary of CityCorp Power Incorporation. Their business model is already proven dahil meron na silang 6-year track record in operating solar power plants. Ang Siri din ang third largest portfolio in terms of installed solar energy capacity in the country. Ang kanilang initial land portfolio ay more than 1.65 million square meters with an appraised value of 10.9 billion pesos or in dollar terms, 214 million dollars. Ito ay strategically located all over the country. These properties are in Clark Freeport Zone, Armenia and Dalayap in Tarlac City, Toledo, Cebu City, Silay and Negros Occidental. Ang CREIT at CREC ay isang vertically integrated renewable energy group from pre-development, development, construction, operations, and maintenance Hawak po nila ang lahat ng aspects ng negosyo. And so, the next good reason is reason number two which is strong financial position. Ang kagandahan ng SIRIT ay isa na itong revenue generating company. Meaning, kumikita na sila. They already have 21% 3-year CAGR growth in equity. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay kumikita at lumalago ang revenues nila taon-taon. They also posted 17% 3-year CAGR decline in liabilities. Ibig sabihin naman nito ay bumaba din ang kanilang liabilities o pagkakautang with the same 3-year period. Another good thing to highlight is they have zero debt. 
wala silang outstanding debt kaya maaari silang gumamit ng leverage sa pag-acquire ng bagong properties para sa kanilang REIT. Matatandaan sa aming REIT review video na malaking performance driver ang accretive growth o ang kakayanan ng isang REIT na mag-acquire o mag-absorb ng panibagong property sa kanilang portfolio. May kakayanan din ang C-REIT na mag-issue ng bagong shares in the future to fund future acquisitions sa kanilang pipeline. And this leads us to the third reason, which is reason number three, reliable steady income source. Dahil lang si REIT ay isang energy REIT at hindi nakafocus sa mga rental properties, mas mahaba ang average lease term ng mga tenants nito. With the average of 21 years, ibig sabihin, meron silang guaranteed long-term income for 21 years. Imagine that! Kumpara sa mga regular REITs na ang average lease term ay 5 to 7 years lamang, si REIT also has the highest will or weighted average lease expiry. That is almost double compared to regular REITs in the market. Alam niyo po, solar business or power generation has much lower risk than offices and commercial business. Di agad-agad na apektuhan ng economic forces and risks ang kanilang negosyo at mas resilient ito kumpara sa traditional REIT business model. Another good point is kumikita ang REIT sa pamamagitan ng dalawang income sources. First, they earn from the guaranteed annual rental rate or yung tinatawag na GARR. Ito yung rental income na nakukuha nila galing sa mga lease properties. Ang pangalawa naman ay kumikita sila sa tinatawag na variable rental rate or VRR. Ang VRR ay equivalent to 50% of the incremental gross revenue earned by the lessee from any excess of its actual energy generation for the current fiscal year over its base revenue. Kikita din ang C-REIT kapag maganda ang performance ng kanilang solar energy production. Alam niyo ba na sa mga regular REITs, di naman nakakatanggap ng dagdag kita ang REITs kapag maganda ang negosyo ng umuupa sa kanila? Halimbawa, BPO or mall stores. Pero kay C-REIT, they get variable income kapag kumita ng maganda ang kanilang solar energy production. You'll also notice na mga big players ang customers ng kanilang mga tenant, kagaya ng National Transmission Corporation or Transco, Shell Energy, ASEN, Freeport Area of Pataan, at Ecozone Power Management Inc. And so, for our fourth reason, which is reason number four, Promising Yield for Investors. Isa sa mga hinahanap ng investors sa REIT ay ang steady stream of stable income in form of dividend yields. Under the REIT Act of 2009, REITs must pay at least 90% of their distributable annual income as dividends to their shareholders. Ang ibang mga REITs ay nag-o-offer ng dividend yield of around 5 to 6%. Then si REIT recently cut its IPO size to 255 pesos per share. This offering price will translate to a dividend yield of 7% this year and 7.4% in 2023, assuming that City Corp will meet income levels projected in its prospectus. At mas tumas pa ang yield offer ng CREIT because of this move. At di pa kasama dito ang appreciation ng stock price ha. If you remember, malaki din ang potential for price appreciation depending on the market performance and accretive growth capability ng isang REIT. For a more in-depth analysis in CREIT financials and projections, we invite you to read the CREIT article of Mr. Henry Ong. Siya po ang presidente ng Registered Financial Planners of the Philippines, a renowned finance columnist, and Sundino Fund's independent director. Nilagay na po namin ang link sa description box for your reference. And so, moving on, last but not the least, reason number five, which is investment in for the future. Ang IPO proceeds ng CREIT ay gagamitin to acquire properties owned by City Corp Bulacan Inc. and City Corp South Cotabato. So very clear na ang main objective ng CREIT is to expand its portfolio size and add new properties down their pipeline. Mahalaga para sa isang REIT na madagdagan ang kanyang property holdings para mas malaki din ang base ng mga tenants na nagbabayad ng rental income nito. Additionally, 
Si Reed is the first energy read in the Philippines. Expected na tataas ang demand for renewable energy, especially na ang mga companies ngayon ay very conscious sa tinatawag na ESG, Environmental, Social and Governance, and SDG, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals Initiatives by the United Nations. These are the companies and industries of the future. Dahil siya na makakatulong sila sa ating society at sa buong mundo. Aside from this, yung push din ng government towards renewables. The Department of Energy through its National Renewable Energy Program targets a 35% share of renewable energy in 2030 and 50% share in 2040. So talagang may demand for this kind of energy source in the long run. Priority din ni City Corp ang sustainable investing at strong corporate responsibility. Involved sila sa agro-solar initiatives kung saan ay nagkakaroon ng beneficial relationship sa solar and agricultural farming activities. They also take part in community building activities para tumibay at ma-empower ang mga komunidad kagaya ng eco-shed projects and upcycling ng mga expired solar panels. Ginagawa po nila ito upang magamit muli ang mga ito, kagaya ng public shelters, tables at room dividers. In summary, masasabi natin talagang ang investment for the future ang Siri. Kaya maaaring magandang part ito ng ating investment portfolio. From their business model, tenant mix, and push for sustainable future, we definitely consider CREIT as an investment for the long run. CREIT is an investment for a sustainable future while getting a steady stream of cash flow from its dividend deals. If you want to invest in CREIT but don't have a stock trading account yet, click the link in the description box so you can sign up and create your account conveniently and digitally. At para naman po sa mga may questions and reactions regarding this video, kindly post it in the comment section so we can also hear from you, mga ka-RFF. If you think you have friends or relatives who might be in need of these contents, I hope you can share this video with them. And for those who haven't yet, please do subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Rapper Financials, and tap the bell button for our future video uploads. Again, this has been Jung Fernando saying thank you so much for watching, for your continued support, and we'll see you in our next video. Stay safe and God bless.